Hi everybody, today I'd like to go over the new features in Jigsaw 5.3 including our new Auction Vista Charts, a visual tool to view both current and historical order flow. Like the depth and sales, it's a combined view of the market depth, trade balance, order flow events and of course the impact of that trading activity. Now as we all know, the depth is important but it's heavily manipulated and we still believe at Jigsaw that the trade flow is the most important aspect of reading order flow. Saying that, there are depth driven activities that we should look out for, such as overwhelming buy side depth below us, which is usually fake and uh, could mean a short term reversal, or above average buy side depth following a move up, which tends to be more supportive. Now, this is phase one of Auction Vista and it's going out as a beta release first. And this beta release is intended to get feedback on the features which we do expect to change over the coming weeks and also it's a chance for you to tell us what you think is wrong with the product too. Let's go over what we can see on the screen. Now bear in mind that this is the 30th of December at 2 a.m. Eastern Time so the market's really quiet. At the top here we can specify the interval so we can actually specify the number of seconds per interval and actually the amount of pixels that we actually show per interval we can make that wider uh, so that it's a little bit easier to read. To the left of the yellow line, we have historical data showing us what has occurred, and to the right is the current interval. Here we have the market depth. On top we have red for sell side liquidity or sell limit orders, and we can see that lighter colors represent areas of relatively higher liquidity, and similarly below us we can see buy side liquidity in blue, and again the higher liquidity is denoted by lighter color, and we can see here we've got one really exceptional area of liquidity which is in white. Now between the depth we have the trade, so between the yellow lines we're actually showing the trades have executed. Black means there have been no trades in that period. Red means more selling than buying in terms of market orders and blue means more buying than selling in terms of market orders. And we can also see these circles here. They show the trades too but this is showing when exceptional size trade. So if trading is about average for the instrument, the balance of trade is just shown between the yellow lines. And if trading is exceptional for the instrument, we'll get one of these circles. Now the circle has two colors. We can see red and blue. And the proportion of each color in the circle shows us the balance of trade between buying and selling. So over here we can see this is mostly red, this was mostly selling. If we look at this circle here, we can see that we just had a little bit more buying than selling, but it was about equal. Now the circles are also relative in size. So a larger circle indicates more contracts traded in the area, and a smaller circle indicates less contracts in the area, but it's still exceptional size. Now the circles, like the lines, they're not per interval. They work just like the current trades on depth and sell. So as long as you're still trading in an area, will accumulate the trade activity in the circle. So circles represent a large quantity of trading in an area but not specifically in one time interval. Because we know that when absorption takes place, it takes place over time. And so those circles build over time just as the market does. Now to open the chart, we just click this icon here. The chart settings themselves are available on the settings window in depth and sales. If we click the appearance tab, and then click the chart tab. The right data setting here determines whether depth history is saved and this will be set on automatically when you open the chart otherwise it will be off. Now we're going to add more settings here to control all of the elements on the screen but we expect the screen elements to change during the beta so we haven't added them all in yet. Just like the depth and sales we have a dustbin icon that will clear any depth history outside of the current 10 levels or 20 levels or whatever your data provider gives you as current depth. If we just click that you can see that depth is now no longer being factored into the equations, no longer being factored into the, the relative depth. Also if you move the depth and sales, change the depth and sales, the chart will change with it. Uh, if you recenter the depth and sales or, or scroll the depth and sales it will resize and you can of course make the chart as small or as big as you like and also you can zoom in and zoom out using these buttons here. There's some other changes in 5.3 and those are listed in the beta test area on the forum. We're actually going to put in a few more fixes, there's still a few outstanding bugs we've got 
that we're going to put into this version, but they're not all there yet, and we're going to put that into the beta farm too. Now, all support of version 5.3 will be done via the beta forum, and that's the best place to tell us about any bugs with this or any new features you think would be useful. Now, note also there is no additional charge for this functionality. This is free. If you're an existing user, you get this chart for free. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you in the beta forum, and thank you all for your continued support.